day everyone welcome to the soap throne my name is Tamika and I'm here today to make one of my best sellers my limb pop exfoliator soap I believe there's another video on this site where um, you can see me making another one but in this one I have um, made the batch a little bigger and I'm also going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to be using two of my four pound molds and because of that I will not be putting it in the oven. So it's just a tiny experiment. I want to see um, what it looks like without being processed in the oven. I'm going to keep the regular liquid amount in my lye solution. Um, as you've probably seen in some of my more recent videos, I started using a water discount, but I'm not using it in this one because I like the look of the soda ash on the top of this soap. And this is the only soap that I've ever said that about. So anyway, we're going to get right into it. So I've got my oil mixture here. So before I add my lye solution, I am going to begin by adding poppy seeds. This is a lot right here, and I seriously don't think that I'm going to need all of it. But I haven't really recorded the weight of the seeds. I um, just, you know, do it by the spoonful. And so that's something that I'm going to work on. And um, I have mainly eyeballed it in the past. So I'm going to be eyeballing it again um, today. And hopefully soon I will have a weight down so that I don't have to do that all the time. Anyway, so I'm going to start by just adding a few tablespoons here. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop there for the time being and I'm going to um, blend it. The blending process does not hurt the poppy seeds at all and it's still very wonderfully exfoliating. The lie tonight or today is um, a little bit warmer than my oils. I like to have them around the same tent, but it's just taking too long. So I decided I was going to go ahead. All right, so here we are. Yeah, one of the reasons I prefer for the um, lye solution to be near the same temperature as the oils is because the fragrance oils that I use in this soap tend to accelerate it a little bit and I want to try to avoid that as much as possible because I do um, an in the pot swirl and um, yeah if I'm not careful it gets thick too fast and then I don't have much time to put it into my molds without it forming huge air pockets. Now for the first blending. Stop there. It is well emulsified. It's not really at any sort of a trace right now and that's the way I want it to be. Because again, once I put in my essential oils, it is going to thicken up pretty quickly. I'm going to add some of the activated charcoal right now. Again, not going for black, but gray. So hopefully that won't be too much of an addition. We're going to see. And it is steadily thickening up. Yes, yeah, lovely. Okay, that'll do. Okay. Now that that is there, I'm going to add the ooh, titanium dioxide. Just lighten this one up a bit. Make sure this is in frame, it is. Get that one out of the way. For this soap, I use an essential oil blend of um, lemongrass and eucalyptus. So, I'm going to go ahead and pour it in. And I'm so gonna hand stir because of that accelerating factor. That's one of the things I've decided to try. I'm 
Okay. I'm going to begin with this one over here. Just get it stirred in really well. I've opened up windows in my apartment here because my partner has a hard time with essential oils, or at least um, the ones that I've used so far. And it's funny because the fragrance oils, even though they might get pretty strong, eh, does not affect him. He seems fine with it, but the essential oils, yeah, it's really hard for him to tolerate. So I just found that interesting. Okay, now let me stir this one up. Let's not dilly dally too much. All right, here we go. Mold number one. We're just going to stop there for the time being. And then mold number two. And there's my sweetheart returning. Hello. I am recording. Hopefully, I opened the window, so I hope this doesn't bother you too much. Oh, please. Dramatic. <laughs> yes, he has a sense of humor. Hi, everyone. Oops, let me get this still. So, I went ahead. I thought I was recording, but I was actually taking photos. Ha! So, um, it's thickened up a little bit. And so I just figured I'd get going. So I like to do sort of a horizontal figure eight. Ooh, the next step is to line the sides with um, a row of poppy seeds and then that will be it so this is what I'm doing for now tomorrow I think I'm going to make another one the normal way in the five pound mode um, one of the other reasons I'm just remembering now that I wanted to do it this way is because the size is different so I'm just kind of curious to see how people respond to that or not, you know. Oh, and just as an update, we have opened more windows because, as I suspected, it is a little hard for him. Though, don't get me wrong, he was joking when he came in. Not choking, joking. He was kidding. <laughs> so, we are going to stop there. Um... I will either come back tomorrow or the next day, so I'll say 24 to 48 hours, because again, I have not done a water discount on this. It shouldn't be super soft, but um, I do notice that the um, corners of the soaps are usually kind of soft, so I might give it a little bit more time to firm up. All right, everyone, I'm back to cut the limb pop. It is a few days later. I can't remember exactly how many. Here it is. Remember I was talking about the soda ash? This is what I got. And this is not what I was um, aiming for. And I'm still deciding how I feel about it. This is actually more ash than what I would typically um, go for with the soap. But this is what we've got. So. Um, I'm going to just think about it a little more and I will either keep it or I'll just shave off the top. I don't know. Also, I'm looking at the sides and I see a little bit of a swirl, but I'm not sure how well the swirl um, is going to come out in this one. And um, I think it is a result of the batter being so thin when I poured it. Um, as well as the soda ash so I know that when you pour it thinner or I should say um, when you pour it thinner there's more of a chance 
of soda ash happening. So typically I pour it thicker. But I'm going to keep experimenting until I can get it right. So for what I was looking for, here is the one that I ended up oven processing. I don't see much soda ash at the moment. So I'm hoping that it will form as it continues to cure. But we will see. So anyway, I'm going to just get straight into cutting. I probably won't cut everything for you because I have two of the one, the four pound loaves like this that um, I just um, decided not to put in the oven. So yeah, I probably won't cut everything here, but I thought you might like to see um, the comparison, how they both look um, being cut. So we'll go for the second cut. You can see a little bit more here. I'll probably just do a couple more here. Because I'm also not sure of how much space I have on my phone and I definitely know the battery is not fully charged. So I want to get this through. So I'll do one more of this one and then I'll start on the five pound loaf. That one's a little better, I think. Okay. So I'm gonna just set this aside. Grab the big one. I'm going to try to get another, or a real soap cutter soon. So I've been making so many lately that this is really, oops, really a challenge. Every time it touches, it moves, but let's see if we can get it through. Ooh. There's, there's that one. Okay, so I'm happy to see that in this loaf, there is more of the swirls, or there are more of the swirls. Um, I think I still might return to the first method that I used, which was more of um, alternating the pores of the different colors while it's in the mold. I don't know if there's a name or not for that one in particular. If there is, it's not coming to my mind right now. That one's really cool looking, I think. Okay, so I would do one more of these and then I'm going to stop. One more. There we are. All right, everyone. I'll put up this one so we can compare. Again, here are the tops side by side. And the inner part side by side. All right, well, let me know what you guys think. Which ones do, or which one do you like better? Thank you again, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more soap making in the future, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to be notified each and every time I upload a video, hit the little bell icon. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye.